Welcome to the lab. Today we're going to go over the endocrine organs. Let's start anteriorly and then work our way posteriorly. Here in the neck region, we have the thyroid gland. It's right there. You can see it's on either side of the trachea. And then if we were to go posterior, remember I'm using terms that relate to our quadrupeds, so towards the tail is the posterior side. Um, this is the thymus, and the thymus is always going to be by the heart like it is in humans. One thing I want to make note of for you guys when you're studying is that we have a very short list of endocrine glands to learn, and so you can very easily just say, okay, there's only one in this neck region, so even if I don't remember exactly um, the only one I had to know in this area is the thyroid gland, and same with the heart. The only one that's going to be by the heart is the thymus. So let's go ahead and look at the abdominal cavity and look through those endocrine organs and glands there. Let's take a look at the abdominal cavity. First one I want to show you is the pancreas, and so um, this dark one is the spleen. Here we have that greater omentum, so if we kind of flip everything upwards like this, the pancreas is right here. This one's a bit darker than most pancreases I see in our feline specimens. Sometimes they're kind of a pale color or a grayish color, um, but one way that you know it's the pancreas is because number one, it's kind of the hardest thing to see. Number two, it's gonna span this area and then connect to the small intestine right here. So this right here is the pancreas. And then if we were to go to the kidneys, remember the uh, endocrine glands that are associated with the kidneys are those um, adrenal glands. And in the feline specimen, they're going to be um, real small. So this is going to be the uh, left adrenal gland. And then this is going to be the right adrenal gland. Don't forget your lefts and rights. Remember we have a few of those to, dis to distinguish for quiz purposes, the other two being the ovaries and testes. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show those on an image to point those out to you. If these dissections are helping you out, please hit like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what kind of tips help you. I will read those and take those into consideration for future videos. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.